Gusto ko din ko sana is excellency. Attorney Ernie Masenon! Thank you, Lovely, for those very generous words. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, as part of the food industry and also as an employee of Nestle, I have to say that of all the food industry's initiatives, food fortification is one that has made significant impact throughout the years. We researched about the background of fortification and legend has it that the first fortification goes back to ancient times when Persian physicians added iron filing fillings to sweet wine. Although we may not encourage the excessive consumption of wine at the moment, other food and beverage products have now been deemed good delivery systems of micronutrients. As early as the 1920s, salt fortification almost single-handedly resolved the goiter epidemic. Milk fortification came around the, in the 1930s and rice fortification followed in the 1950s. We are all aware, as the previous speakers have mentioned, the extent of the problem of micronutrient deficiency. And I would like to speak for the industry and reconfirm our commitment to be part of the solution. The food industry is one of the many effective partners of governments in ensuring that our products not only deliver on quality and taste, but also deliver essential micronutrients needed by the population we serve. The industry's role. Our strengths lie in the industry's capacity for research and development, and our consumer insight, which ensures that the products we produce are delicious, acceptable, and affordable to consumers. As you all know, fortification is not just about adding micronutrients into a product. It is a challenge for the food industry to ensure a balance between taste and acceptability as fortification may impact the taste of the product. We spend a lot of time and resources to achieve this balance. Food manufacturers produce products that are distributed across the country from big supermarkets to sari sari stores. And these are the daily source of food for the majority of our population. We have a good distribution system across the country. The industry can achieve significant scale that no other organization can. Last also, it is not just within the country, but also big food manufacturers also within the region enjoy the benefit of bread and distribution across borders. Lastly, we also produce products that are affordable and accessible for the bottom of the pyramid, those that most need these micronutrients. To give you an idea on the scale of our reach in Nestle, the amount of fortified servings that reach consumers, which has increased every year. Last year, we counted 22 billion servings of various fortified products were consumed in the Philippines. This is just one company alone. You can imagine the effect this would have on the population when other companies are taken into consideration. In the Philippines, some sectors have been required to fortify their products, salt, flour, rice, oil, to name a few. Studies across the world found that wheat flour fortification with folic acid, for example, has reduced neural tube defects. Fortification with iron reduced iron deficiency and flour with multiple nutrients reduced anemia. On the other hand, other manufacturers voluntarily fortify their products. Some examples would be Tiger Biscuits from Mondelez, which is fortified with vitamin A and iron. Bread like Gardenia is fortified with vitamin A. 
iodine and folate, and milk, like our very own Bear Brand powdered milk drink, is fortified with iron, zinc, and other essential micronutrients lacking in the Filipino diet. Through the years, Bear Brand powdered milk drink fortification delivery has improved, ensuring it has the optimal amount to address the nutritional gaps to delivering absorbable iron. Through a local study, Bear Brand powdered milk has also been shown to increase hemoglobin levels of school children. These voluntary examples are testament to the industry's commitment to address the problem of micronutrient deficiency in the country. Within our organization, Nestle is committed to reach 200 billion servings of fortified products across the globe. And in fact, it exceeded that target by delivering 207 billion servings in 2016. We target to reach millions more by 2020 and to initiate collective actions to reduce micronutrient deficiencies in 10 countries where Nestle is present, which includes the Philippines as a key market. Nestle has taken the initiative very seriously and has disseminated across the globe a policy on micronutrient fortification. The policy requires fortification of products with public health significance. Fortification must take into consideration consumption pattern of the product. It must encourage consumption of high sat saturated, must not encourage consumption of high saturated fat, high sugar, high calorie, and high sodium food. And the product fortified must be affordable. I think one thing that's going that's very good for the industry is that competition encourages the different manufacturers to really bring down the cost and deliver the most nutritious product to the market. There is still much room to intensify and promote fortified products. Further local R&D support using the expertise of the DOST FNRI is needed to improve fortification delivery, such as exploring bioavailable fortificants and conduct impact studies on the effectiveness of fortified products. Industry also should consider further affordability of all fortified products in order to target the population most in need of these micronutrients. Lastly, both industry and government should focus as well on advocacy to ensure that consumers understand the value of fortified products we distribute. We all have a part to play from micro, small, medium enterprises to multinationals, from national government to local government on the ground. We need to continue a strong public-private partnership. One cannot work without the other, and I'm here today to express again our sincere commitment to address micronutrient deficiency in the country. Thank you very much for your time, and I wish you all a pleasant evening. Thank you so much.